pussy because I didn't take care of the fucking Arab who, you know, you, you know, who tried to touch you in the fucking elevator. And Mr. Depp wrote, and then I shot a few Negroes in a club on Sunset Boulevard. What do you get? An angry aggro engine in a fucking blackout, screaming obscenities and insulting any fuck who got near. Now, in a recent interview with the Daily Mail, Depp revealed how he further plans on helping the Native American people. He wants to buy Wounded Knee, the site of an 1890 massacre between the federal government and Native Americans who claimed to own the land in South Dakota. Because we're best friends. We just want to hold each other. Can't get a tissue. When you referred to the French extortionist and called her an ex you were referring to Vanessa Parody, the mother of your children, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Things got a little um, you can uh, tight that down. at that point. Born a female, if that's the right terminology these days. Born a female, but she was, um, at a very young age, she had decided that she w was a, she was a male. And she... Your display of guilt and matronliness as a lesbian camp counselor was plenty. Your future is on display. Best of luck. Exactly. exactly. Molly's pussy is rightfully mine. Should I not just bust in and remove its hinges tonight? Did I read that right? You read it right. And the one beneath that, you say, I want to change her understanding of what it is like to be thrashed about like a pleading mackerel. And then in all caps, you write, I need, I want, I take. You text Mr. Bettany, let's burn Amber. You say, let's drown her before we burn her. After you said, let's drown her before we burn her, Mr. Depp, you said, I will fuck her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead. That's what you said that you would do after you burned her and after you drowned her. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes. And you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife. 